you know, when you pay taxes, you know what you're really doing? You're just ripping it up and throwing it away. That's why we buy real estate. We don't want to keep doing this over and over and over again. We want the government to give us back that money so we can invest and even make more money. So let's talk about the tax advantages of real estate investing right now. There are seven of them. You've heard it over and over and over again that real estate is one of the best tax shelters there is. Rich people know this. The government wants you to buy real estate. Why? Why would they want that? Because they want there to be homes built all across the country. They want to have enough uh, supply. And therefore, they incentivize us investors by giving us tax loopholes. Isn't that, ever heard that before? You think that's a bad thing. No, that's a good thing if you're a real estate investor. They want you to own real estate and they want you to own businesses. So, number one, you're going to have a place in your home, aren't you? It's called your home office. Now, there are some certain rules that you have to follow in order to get deductions from your home office. I've got a home office. Most rich people have home offices. So, in order to take the home office deduction, there are two rules. Rule number one, exclusive business use only. And rule number two, regularly conducting some kind of business from that spot. And then you get to deduct your home office, and that's gonna lower your taxes. Of course, your tax advisor is gonna give you the real rules on how you get these deductions, but the second deduction is travel. Now, when I travel to Italy with my wife, she loves Italy. I'm gonna look at real estate while I'm there because I want to deduct whatever is legal. If I'm going to China, if I'm going to Russia, if I'm going to South Africa, anywhere in the world I travel, there's real estate, and I'm going to deduct it. Do you have children? Why don't you hire them? Why don't you pay them a little salary? Why don't you, instead of giving them an allowance, why don't you make them earn it? And why don't you teach them how to create wealth while they're young? And so the government lets you, with certain rules, and they're really strict rules, how you can hire your own children and deduct it from your taxes. If you've got kids, you'll agree that they do cost money. You can pay some of those expenses with before-tax money by employing them to perform tasks for your business. These need to be legitimate tasks that are age-appropriate. Number one, have a written job description for your child. Number two, your child should keep a time slip or worksheet showing hours worked, and number three, pay a reasonable wage for work performed. If you'll do these simple things, you get to deduct their allowances. For example, do you have time to read through all of the online sources about how to find real estate deals? What if you taught your children how to find real estate deals where they could bring you, based upon the analysis you're gonna teach them how to do, a great real estate deal. And so in the same time that you get to deduct the money you give them, you get to find the real estate deals they're going to provide for you. So remember, three, real estate is three things. Finding, funding, farming. Finding is a perfect thing for kids. I used to pay my kids, you know, $100 on a really great real estate deal. And therefore, they would come to me so excited, Daddy, Daddy, we found one. And then I get to write off any amount I pay them. It's just really cool. Your car is an investment. It's a deduction for your business. Your car is often a crucial part of a real estate investment plan. Therefore, the business use of the auto is deductible in one of three ways. Number one, cents per mile of actual usage. Number two, a portion of a lease payment. Or number three, a portion of the cost of the vehicle. If you're not deducting a portion of your car, you're not a real estate investor, are you? So start deducting it, ASAP. How many books have you read on real estate investing? Every one of those books is deductible. How many seminars have you been to? Every one of those seminars is deductible if you're a real estate professional and therefore become a real estate professional and therefore your education is part of the cost of doing business. You get to deduct that. And most people don't even think about that. So a successful real estate investor is always improving his or her education. This can include audiobooks, seminars, magazine subscriptions, real estate investment club dues, and other forms of business-related 
education. Let the government pay for these things for you. You always know that real estate appreciation is one of the reasons why real estate is so good. But the depreciation is even better because it immediately saves the amount of money you pay the government in taxes. When you buy a piece of real estate, the government lets you depreciate it. They're going to assume that it's going to wear out over 30 years. What's really going to happen is actually going to go up in value but they're gonna let you deduct it as if it's going to depreciate. You get to do it over 27 and a half years and apply that deduction to your income this year, right now. And therefore, rather than paying X amount of money in taxes this year, you get to deduct that and put that money back in your pocket where you can use it to buy some more real estate so you can pay even less taxes. Oh, by the way, this only works for investment real estate. It doesn't work for your own home. Use depreciation, it'll save you money in taxes. Have you ever heard the word tax credit? That means when you invest your money in something, you get to deduct it immediately from your taxes. And therefore, the government gives you these tax credits. Some of it's solar paneling, you get a tax credit. Sometimes if you're fixing up an older building, you get a tax credit. I had a 12-unit apartment building that I converted into an office building and I got some tax credits and therefore it lowered my taxes immediately. So this is the seventh reason why real estate is such a great tax uh, advantage. However, it's one of those rare examples. You use it with Americans with Disability Acts benefits, uh, historic building rehabilitation costs, and pre-1936 construction rehabilitation costs, and sometimes there are other uh, programs that the government comes up with, and you, as soon as you hear that word tax credit, it, as it applies to your real estate, perk up because there's money there waiting behind that tax credit. When you click on this link and download this book, it's called The Challenge. It's a book that I wrote for you. I wrote it for beginning investors and even more advanced investors because I teach the secrets of how you find highly motivated sellers and how you negotiate with them and how to use nothing down techniques. How do you build wealth? This book is one of the best books I have ever written. It's, it took me two years to write this book. I sat literally at my desk for two years to write this, and I want you to have it. Because this book has changed thousands and thousands of lives, and I want it to change your life. And it won't change your life unless you click on that link right there, download it, and read it. You'll love it. Did you enjoy that? I hope so. So thank you for watching. And make sure you subscribe because if you don't subscribe, you won't find out the secrets that I've hidden in the next video.